Hello there, this is Eric from Finley Truck and RV, and I'll be doing a video walkthrough on 3921P, the 2012 Coachman Concord. Starting on the outside out here, coming along to the passenger side, on the fender here, you'll notice there are lane changing cameras. Uh, once you use your turn signals, it will light up what's beside you. Also, when you go into reverse, it does have a backup camera that will light up to show you what is behind you also. Over here is your main entry door into the passenger side. Um, right here, you have a manual awning that goes all the way across, full length of the camper. It's actually a really big awning. And then also you have your first slide out here. Um, at the very top of the slide out, there are slide awnings on the slide outs also. Those awnings will extend as the slide is extended and will retract as the slide is retracted. First compartment down here on the bottom. Uh, this is gonna be your propane tank. Uh, there is a gauge on the actual tank itself. Shut off valve right here. And the yellow cap is where you'll fill your propane tank. Next compartment beside that. This is going to be a storage compartment. Now we come to our entry door. On the entry door, you're gonna have two locks. One is gonna be a latch lock for the actual handle itself. The other one here is gonna be for a deadbolt. Uh, directly above the entry door, there is a giant porch light that goes across the top. Uh, this does have a power step. As the entry door is open, the power step will come out. Um, as the door is closed, the power step will close automatically. And if you're going in and out of your camper a lot, you want the step to stay in the outright position. There's a button here just inside the door that says auto step. You could shut that step off and be able to go in and out of your camper without the step going in every time you close the door. Up top, you have some speakers that will play from the radio inside of the camper. If you want to hear you know, music outside. <clears throat> you have an access panel to the back of the refrigerator mainly for the service aspect of it. Um, if there's anything ever wrong with your refrigerator, we could get in and look at modules instead of having to remove the whole refrigerator. Directly below that is gonna be your furnace. Anytime the furnace is running, there will be hot air blowing out of here. So you won't wanna lean anything up against where that exhaust is for the furnace. Uh, there is bright right on this, so it's got little air bags on the back. There's little valves here that you can unscrew the cap and pump the bags up on each side. Over here, you have cable or satellite hookup. And then directly beside that, a couple exterior 110 outlets. The main exhaust for the vehicle itself, right there. Over here, you have a little door that will flip open, and that is for the spare tire drop down. You could crank the spare tire down if you ever need to replace a flat tire. And then the compartment directly above that is going to be a storage compartment inside of here. And it is lighted. Um, the same switch panel that has the switch for the step shut off has a switch that says compartment lights on it. And if you turn that switch on, it will light up these compartment lights. Moving around to the back side back here, you have ladder access to the rooftop. Uh, on the rooftop of this, there are solar panels on the top. Uh, inside, there'll be some solar, um, solar displays uh, for the charging of the solar panels. Uh, down low, you have a hitch and seven pin connector. And then all the way up top there, you have your backup camera or your reverse camera. Over here on this side, again, you have another slide out here for the bedroom area. And again, another slide awning on the very top. Compartment below the slide out here. There's again, another storage compartment. And there's another light inside of here also that is controlled by that same switch I told you about by the, the step switch. You have your main fuel tank for the vehicle. And then to the left of the fuel tank is where your shore cord will store. This is 30 amp service. Uh, the cord will kind of coil up and stick inside of that compartment there. Uh, one thing I always like to do, this camper 
has this little plug here. And what this plug is for is if you want to run the camper off the generator, this shore cord here has to be plugged into this port here. So out of good habit, what I do is every time I coil up the cord, I plug it in here. That way, if you're in your camper and you want to fire up your generator and power some things, you're already plugged in. So good habit to do. Like I say, I always plug that thing in when it's coiled in. Directly below that. Set the phone down a sec. Um, inside of here is gonna be your waste hose and it's gonna be in this pipe right here. This pipe will swing out. You can take the cap off and put your waste hose to where you're gonna drain. And then inside of here, you have little valves that you'll pull for your waste tanks. Moving over to the side here. Uh, this is gonna be your water heater. Uh, it does have a drain plug over here in the bottom left corner. You have a pressure relief valve. Always relieve the pressure if you remove the drain plug. This water heater is gas and electric and is in, controlled from inside with switches. I will show you that on the second part of my video. To the left of that door here, you have your main water hookup area. Uh, up at the very top up here, and these are all labeled, uh, you're going to have your sewer, or sewer tank flusher. Uh, middle port where I have the cap off is going to be your city water connection. And then the lower port here uh, is your potable water fill or your fresh water tank fill. Again, down here on the bottom, another cable uh, cable or satellite connection. And then you do have a hot and cold uh, outdoor shower out here. There's a little spot here where you can open up the door here on the outside and run your hose or your cable wire in through the outside here. Over here, that's going to be the port for the air side of your uh, ride right, the airbag. And then just below that is going to be your generator exhaust. And this opening here is going to be in our storage compartment. The next compartment here is going to be your generator. Uh, this generator is a Onan 4000. Uh, it has been serviced, oil's been changed, filter's been checked. If you ever need to gain access into here, you flip these handles up to the side, and then you'll pull the cover back out and lift up. And you can gain access to engine oil fill or dipstick, uh, start stop switch, there's a little circuit breaker down here, and then your engine air filter's over here on this side. Again, this has been serviced already, so you're ready to go. next compartment over here is going to be again another storage compartment directly above that is going to be your couch slide out and over here that is going to be an exhaust vent for over the stove top this also has a slide out awning across the top side of it your main entry door into your driver's area here and then again your other lane changing camera and then we're back up to the front of the vehicle again um, underneath the hood the engine oil has been changed the engine has been serviced all fluids topped off uh, we do have new wiper blades on this new uh, engine battery and new engine air filter so it's all serviced ready to go that concludes my video on the exterior i'll pick up on the interior thank you